Hello friends, welcome to W3AF tutorial videos. In the first video we have seen some basic commands of the W3AF and the plugins like discovery, audit and grep. Now in this video we will see the brute force output and mangle plugin. Now let's start with the brute force plugin. Brute force plugin can be used in the application whereas the login pages. Now at the time of the discovery phase of the W3AF if it identifies any of the login pages it will automatically forward it to the brute force plugin if it is enabled there are some good configurable parameters available for this particular plugin so let's see how to configure that parameters so first of all let's type the plugins now next let's see the brute force available plugins there are two plugins available so we can see and let's see the uh, description for the second one that is form authentication brute force for that you have to type brute force then dsc for description and the plugin name so as you can see there are 11 configurable parameters are available so there are some good configurable parameters available such as password equal to user now this has the boolean value like true or false i would advise that you can turn it to the false because i don't think that uh, password would be equal to the username for the for any of the user now here you can also use your own username and password file and save it to the particular location so w3f you use passwords and username from that file now let's see the configurable configuration of this parameters uh fly outside the brute force you can type the config and the form and let's say view so you can see the default value is set for the password file you can replace this file as i told and you can also now some one good other parameter is use mails so here the uh, w3f can also use the uh, username identified from the email addresses on the applications or on the websites which are available you can gather this email address from the plugins like grab we have seen in the last video so this is also a good example how plugins interact in the w3f now let's move to the next plugin that is output now output decides the format in which you want the output there are many formats available like html xml console and you can also set the verbosity as per your requirement so let's see the output plugin as i as i say there are many available formats html tags xml and if i want my report to be have all the requests and response available you can type the output config and console it has one parameter that is verbosity now by default it's set to the false you can turn it on by set verbose to true so now it will have the detailed output of the application scanning now let's see the next plugin that is mangle plugin as the name suggests mangle modifies the request and response on the fly so while the discovery phase of the application uh, if you want to change any of the in, uh, in the query header on the response body you want to change any of the value you can configure it into this particular plugin and it will do the task so let's see let's first of all go back and type the mangle so it has only one plugin let's say the description for that mangle dsc and stream editor now there are two examples given to this plugin one is this so in this what how can you write the expression to change the value of the query header and response body now in the first example the q denotes the query and h is for the header so if it finds the user in the query header it will replace with this value that is not a user in the next example SB S stands for response and B for body 
so if it finds the form that's in small or capital F it will replace it with the small form now you can also set your own expression if you want to make uh, changes so you can do it like mangle config scd view set expressions uh, let's change the value being if it finds in the, any of the query header with google so now this will during the discovery if it finds the being in the query header it will replace it with the google so you can set it like that so that's all for this video in the next video we'll cover the rest of the plugin plugins so thank you